If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got six new brand new power-up expansions in Madden 20 Ultimate Team. Now guys, they haven't announced these are the final ones yet, so hopefully, we still got a few more weeks to this because... I don't think I'll make it to Madden 21 without an ounce of content. This is what drives, you know, my channel and a few other channels. So it is always exciting when we get some weekly stuff to always look at. Now, guys, we do have six new ones. And a lot of them, to be quite honest with you, are pretty exciting here. We got, at least, in my opinion, three big ones. At least. Let's get over to the first big one. I'm just going to start with the bangers since I have them right here. Calvin Johnson did get one, guys. Now, before we get into today's video, make sure you're below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that on, you boys. Come to the family. That's about it. I want you guys here for Madden 21, so... Even if you're not supporting now, just stay tuned and come around then. But here you go. Calvin Johnson's had that overall. Pretty solid one in my opinion. So 81 strength is huge for a wide receiver. 95 agility is good. No human joystick though. 97 speed will get to 99 with um, Sprinter and John Madden. Well, it doesn't need both, but either or. 99 jumping is really good. 60 run block is decent. 77 trucking is really good for a, um, a wide receiver. 90 elusiveness. 92 ball carry vision. 90 stiff arm is really good. 89 spin. So he will just miss, I believe, both any invasive or juke in chemistry. I mean, I could look here anyways and just see what he'd be available for. I don't even think he'd be available for it anyways. Yeah, 95 juke move. Now in the final spot, I think it might have been a 90, a 90 juke move. But again, he's just going to miss that. So moving on over to injury. Doesn't matter. 96 stamina, 99 spec catch, 98 catch in traffic, 94 medium route running, 98 meet, a B press, 95 break tackle, 96 short route running, and 98 medium route running. So his route running should come close to about 99 everything besides his medium route. B press will be max, his catching should all be just about max. This card is really, really good. Honestly, I see no reason why you shouldn't upgrade him if you do happen to have him on your team. Now let's see what else we do have in the binder. So we do have a few other guys. So let's see. Do I have any of these other guys here? I believe if I had them, they would be regular power ups. They wouldn't be actually all the way up. So, um, I have a lot. I, you know what's funny, guys? I don't know if you how long you've been watching this channel for, but I always have hundreds of power-ups. And ironically, it's never the ones that come out that day. So, somehow, I seem to always have to go buy them. It's kind of just like uh, what seems to happen every single time. And it's looking that way once again. If I'm not... Oh, we had Donald Driver. Okay, so that's two. So, I showed you guys Calvin. Donald Driver's a new one. He was a wide receiver for the Packers. I had a feeling we had him. 77 strength, 93 agility, 95 speed. Really, they're gonna be someone 95 speed in damn near a day off July. He's gonna be short of 99 speed by one. 96 uh, excel, 90 awareness, 95 catching, 85 carrying. The carrying's actually really good. 91 jumping, 94 looseness, 97 ball carry vision, 70 stiff arm, 91 spin move, 95 juke move. So he will get jukebox on this card, which is actually pretty cool. 95 spec catch, 94 catch and traffic, 96 medium route running. 96 beat press, 93 break tackle, 96 short running, and 97 deep running. So, so Donald Driver seems more like a slot type receiver with that jukebox. That could be pretty cool on like drags and stuff. Getting into him in short range and just juking someone out. Decent card. Do is he better than Calvin uh, wide receiver wise? No. But as a runner, potentially could be even though he's a bit slower because he still does get jukebox. I have a lot of Zeke. I forgot about that. Okay, guys, I have so many power ups. It's actually pretty unreal. I'm not seeing, I mean, I feel like I should have at least one more. I've had so many power-ups all year. I haven't really sold much of them, so I'll be really surprised I don't have at least one more from this list. Am I seeing, you guys seeing anything? Because I'm not seeing anything. Mm. Wow, Jesus, I have a lot of power-ups. Probably not as much as some people, but still, a lot considering. And we're done. I, I always love how I don't seem to have any more. All right, I'll be right back as I'm going to pick them up on the block. So back over here, we got Akeem Hicks, Antonio Camardi, Jordan Reed. We are missing one, which is Marquise Pounce. He was super expensive, probably because he's probably the best center in the game, at least tied for it with Dwight Stevenson. So that was kind of expected. But let's see, Keem Hicks, 98 strength, 75 agility, 71 speed, 80 excel. So he's very slow. Looks more like a defensive tackle, in my opinion, but you still could play him at that, like in a big nickel set, put him in the middle. 98 tackle, 87 jumping, 97 impact block was really good. 70 finesse move was really bad. 99 pursuit, 99 injury, 99 stamina, 92 hit power. That's really the stats are going to show me in the back of the card. So you don't, so his, okay, let's see his power move. Okay, 90, okay, so he probably has like a 97 power move, at least. So this card is decent in my opinion. He's more like, he plays more like a defensive tackle. If I had to give my two cents here. And his block shed on the other card will be a 99. Okay, so at least we know he's a 99 block shed and probably will get to a 99 power move. So if you really wanted this guy, or you're a Bears fan or something, 
you could always put him in like a big nickel set line him up at the defensive tackle slot in the middle in a formation sub i think that'd probably be the best use for him i really wouldn't want him on the outside with how fast running back quarterbacks are right now trust me if he breaks loose there's a good chance you're running around that guy Next, we got Antonio Cromartie. Antonio Cromartie cards always play really, really well. They're always like that glitchy, like athletic cornerback, kind of like a Dion S kind of thing. So, pretty excited for this card. 73 strength, 98 agility. Now, that agility is phenomenal. He is one short of like that max agility spot, but not that there's an ability for it for him, I don't believe, so not like it matters. He will get maxed out speed, come close to maxed out excel. Really good awareness, really good catching, actually. With John Madden, I think that gets up to an 87 for me. Good carrying as well. 98 jumping is great because I'll be a 99 on my team, I believe, if any of my cams bring that up. 91 kick return doesn't matter too much. I probably won't have him there. 89 elusiveness, 91 ball carry vision, 84 spin move, and 92 juke move. Again, really solid. 95 player recognition will get to a 99 on my team. 98 man coverage will get to a 99 on my team. 96 zone coverage will be a 99 on my team. And then 88 spec catch is really good, guys. That'll be those glitchy picks he gets. 96 press will also be 99 on my team. So, guys, in my opinion, Antonio Cromartie is the new Deion Sanders, in my opinion. He's got the athleticism, the juking, the ball carrying, but he's got also press. I think you line up Antonio Cromartie on one side of another good one, like a Champ Bailey, and you got some deadly corners. I really like that Cromartie card. I think he's got to be up there for one of the better corners to use. Well, other guys have better stats, maybe, but that athleticism tied with press, which you usually don't get, like a Deion kind of guy, that's important. Next, we have Jordan Reed, tight end for the Redskins. Well, I don't know if he's with the Redskins anymore. I think he might have been cut. But despite everything, just going to get it out there. What his stats are, 72 strength, 93 agility. Good agility, honestly, for a tight end. 90 speed, 93 excel. That's actually pretty fast as well. It gets like a 93 speed. 98 awareness, 99 catching. Really good catching. 86 carrying, that's good. 91 jumping, 69 run block. A little low on the run block. A little low on the 78 truck. 84 ball carry vision. I mean, sorry, 98 ball carry vision. 84 looseness. 85 spin, eh. 72 spin was kind of bad too. 91 juke was not horrible. Bad impact, bad run blocking, uh, decent run blocking, if anything, but still not great. 96 spec catch, 95 catch in traffic, 93 medium run running, 94 beat press, 85 break tackle, 96 short running, and 80 deeper running. Now, guys, I think this car would have been a lot better had they increased the speed. He can catch great, but we have we have guys like Gronk, we have guys like Tony Gonzalez. I can't if he if he was able to either run block, which I didn't expect that from him. All I would have cared about was the speed. If they gave him like a 92 speed. A 92 speed that I can get to a 95, this card's a really good tight end. But lack of speed, great catching, but I can always go a guy like Gronk, who I bet who has similar catching, a little bit less speed if not the same, and he will have run blocking, which is probably where I'd go instead if I had to choose between the two. Now guys, those are pretty much all of them. Only one missing is Marquise Pouncey. Let me take you over to that screen real quick so you guys can see the Marquise Pouncey stat. So we're still looking at Marquise Pouncey here, 99 overall center for the Pittsburgh Steelers. 64, sorry, sorry, 6 foot 4, 96 strength, 99 awareness, 95 pass block, 97 pass block power. 94 pass block finesse, 95 run block, 96 run block power, 95 run block finesse. So, going to have almost maxed out run block, I believe, my team. We'll have maxed out pass block power, just about, and high pass block. And this card's going to be one of the best setters in the game. Now, is it him or Dwight Stevenson? It really just depends. They're both power-up expansions, so whatever which one you prefer, if one's better as a power-up, is one better as pass block, one's better as run block, or whichever one you prefer more, go compare the two. They're going to be similar in pricing, more than likely. Marquise may be even cheaper because you don't have to actually pick up any cards for him past his heavyweight card. But then again, sometimes the training could be more. It really just depends. But guys, let's head them back to the screen to rank them and go over them. I guess that wraps it up. So, so let's let's go to rating these cards here. So in my opinion, coming in at last for the day is going to be Akeem Hicks. The card really is just too unathletic with human joystick and all these guys that are going to be running around him. Going to be way too slow. I think he's going to be the last one. Can you play him at DT? Possibly. But even then, there's probably better ends you can play at DT like an Aaron Donald who's a bit faster. Coming in at number five is going to be... Jordan Reed now Jordan Reed looked honestly pretty solid if only the speed was a little bit better if it's like two or three higher I think that would have been a great great tight end card but otherwise he doesn't really stand out coming at number four is gonna be Donald Driver now Donald Driver I don't have him on here per se that's why I'm not like going over them one by one but Donald Driver the thing with Donald Driver is he does get the jukebox I believe and he can be a really good slot and he has pretty good stats so gotta put him up there he's still usable coming at number four uh number three sorry is going to be Marquise Pouncey, just a great sign. You can never really discount a lineman. Linemen have just so much benefits considering they're linemen and they help your run game, help your pass game, and they also get to be, that's relatively cheap for one, and the position you don't like spending a lot on. So that's kind of there. Then number two, I'm going to go Calvin. I think Calvin's great as a number two receiver, or the number one receiver, but as the number two guy on this list, Calvin's great and everything, but I have another guy number one. 
Antonio Cromartie. I really do like Antonio Cromartie's stats. I think he's really athletic. I think he's kind of what Dion could be if Dion had better press. I think it's just very useful right there. And he maxes out for a lot of things. So, my opinion. This week's drop is pretty good. I honestly think they weren't bad at all. I think it's one of the better drops we've had. But, guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're into the channel, go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think of these new power expansions. Like I said, in my opinion, this is the best week of power expansions yet. So, Really, really happy they went this route and gave us at least two to three good players. Sometimes they give us none, so, you know, it's a real big step in the right direction there. But guys, that's about it for the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. It should be the only video I post for the day. But guys, I'm out. Peace.